Hey guys, still working on the old uh, 2002 Mercedes C240 intermittent alarm problems all of a sudden about a week ago trying to narrow down what's wrong with it. I've already pulled the siren in the front passenger's fender well. Uh, found out it had some broken pins. Either they were broken or they broke because they were corroded when I pulled the connector apart. Anyway, took the siren apart, put some new pins, soldered some new pins in, put it all back together. The siren now works, which is uh, good and bad because the alarm still is going off. Uh, one of the things that uh, I read online to look for was your door switches. Go around and check all your door switches. Well, I guess you can see that one. It's broken. And I do vaguely remember one day when I was at work and in a hurry early in the morning, the seat belt buckle not retracting all the way. And when I shut the door, it slammed in the door. I'm pretty sure that is the result. And you can see that it is pushed back in there quite a ways. And so I am suspicious, highly suspicious of that switch since this is an intermittent problem and sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. And I've heard of issues, other types of issues with Mercedes where in, um, say, the, the passenger side, none of the front seat motors adjustments work, the door switches, windows, nothing works. And then when the sun would shine on that side of the car and you would put your key in to start to leave, all of a sudden everything on that side of the vehicle would start working uh, because of the expansion from the heat would make some kind of connection. So anyway, um, I'm going to try to pull this dude out and see what it looks like on the back side. If it's not all just shattered on the back side, I will probably get out the epoxy, plastic epoxy, and repair that one and see if that solves my issue. Thanks for watching, guys. Okay, so I did get it out. As you can see, it is busted pretty bad. I can totally see how this could make intermittent connection since there's nothing really holding it in position anymore and that could cause the alarm system to uh, believe the door was open or somebody had opened the door especially after the cab starts to uh, experience a rise in temperatures with the windows all rolled up and everything so, I'm really hoping this is my issue. Um, it wasn't real hard to get out once I got the inner trim off. And the inner trim, you pull back your belting right along your door edge, and there is a clip on each side. They are kind of a pain to get loose. Um, I had to use an awl, and I went down into the top and kind of drove it down in there and then pried the plastic um, like pried the plastic away from the clip and outward and you'll see there's one there there's one on the back side there's one toward the bottom down here on each side and uh, then when you go to put it back on you just you just push it back in it just pops back into place and then once you do that this switch actually just locks in and of course there's the plug for it push in on the top tab you rotate it in you kind of give her a little wiggle <laughs> yeah it came out just fine earlier give it a little wiggle pass the little tabs in the bottom and it comes out and then it pulls right out um, Parts Geek, I believe, carries these, and I don't remember what they cost, but they weren't very much. And like I said, I'm really hoping this is the issue with the stupid alarm system. 
But anyway, there's where it is. There's how you get it out, guys. There's what you look for if you've ever had somebody shut the buckle in the door like I did. Thanks for watching.